countrymen and women, each year on the 25th of May, our continent commemorates Africa Freedom Day to mark the founding of the Organization of African Unity. The aim of this organization was to liberate African countries from colonial rule. Today, African countries commemorate this special day by reflecting on key developmental issues that need to be addressed in realizing our social economic development. As a member of the African Union family, Zambia will join the rest of the continent tomorrow in commemorating our Africa Freedom Day. Countrymen and women, while a number of African states are politically independent, men are yet to attain true economic emancipation. The continent is still grappling with many challenges, which include instability, food insecurity, and the COVID-19 pandemic. The African Union agenda is now focused on creating an Africa with zero hunger. As a country, we are commemorating this year's Africa Freedom Day under the theme Leveraging National Resources to Boost Food Security. This title draws on the continental theme, which is strengthening resilience in nutrition and food security on the African continent. Countrymen and women, Zambia and the continent are blessed with vast natural resources, including available, arable, land, water, resources, fish, wildlife, minerals, as well as the human capital. These resources can improve food security in our country, the region, continent, and the rest of the world if they are properly managed and harnessed. Countrymen and women, our country is self-sufficient in the production of crops such as maize, cassava, groundnuts, that contribute to our food and nutritional security. A lot, however, still needs to be done to ensure that all of our people have access to sufficient, safe, and nutritious food and safe drinking water, of course, at all times. The effects of climate change, notably droughts, dry spells, flash floods, and others continue to remain a serious threat to our stability. We also need to improve our production, processing, storage, and distribution of food in order to secure our long-term food and nutritional needs. We have an obligation to contribute towards achieving the sustainable development goal of ending hunger on our planet. These steps will bring down the price of food, support rural communities, and contribute to the development of our strong Zambian economy. Countrymen and women, our forests assist in mitigating climate change and protecting water catchment areas. Our wildlife and their habitat are equally critical to enhancing food security in the country. Therefore, we need to manage these natural resources prudently. Countrymen and women, our forefathers and mothers, of course, fought hard to attain the political freedoms we enjoy today. They sacrificed their lives to guarantee our rights to life, liberty, and the continued development of our country. To leverage our resources in boosting food and nutrition security in the country, government, your government, is implementing various programs. These include the Ag Agricultural Support Program, Fisheries and Aquaculture, Development, Livestock Development, and the Scaling Up of our Nutrition Program. Countrymen and women, to address the impact of climate change on food and nutrition security, farming methods such as sustainable agricultural practices and climate smart agriculture are being implemented rigorously. Government is also promoting irrigation development and water harvesting to reduce dependence on rain-fed agriculture. These farming methods should contribute to sustainable food and nutrition security, while helping our farmers and households to increase productivity and build resilience in this sector. Countrymen and women, we are also promoting private sector participation in order to enhance food and nutrition security in the country. As a result, 
were more private sector players in areas such as seed and feed production, animal breeding, agro-processing, and indeed, input distribution. We are also supporting the modernization of agriculture and other sectors through the use of technology, innovation, and research. We have zero-rated importation of selected farming equipment and accessories such as irrigation systems, sprayers, and animal feed mixers. These are key levers for enhancing productivity and improving food security in our country. Government is also ensuring food and nutrition security for the poor and vulnerable in our society by implementing, of course, the country's strongest ever social transfers, social cash transfers, food security packs, and school feeding programs. Very important. Countrymen and women, food security is vital, is a vital component of the peaceful and prosperous future we want for ourselves and our children and children of our children. It empowers families and communities and guarantees our long-term health and well-being of our people. Countrymen and women, Africa Freedom Day is a reminder of the sacrifice and efforts of our forefathers and mothers made to liberate our continent from colonial rule. Yet, while we celebrate freedoms, we must remind fellow citizens that freedom does not connote, does not equate to criminality. This is not allowed. This is not acceptable in our modern era. To maintain peace and stability in our country, the continent and the world, the rule of law must be respected all the time. Countrymen and women, as part of our commemoration of Africa Freedom Day, we are pardoning 2,652 inmates who are detained in various correctional facilities. We believe in showing strength through our compassion, and we believe in rights for all citizens, including the right to life. In accordance with the provisions of the Constitution and as part of these pardons, we have commuted the sentences of 30 of those who are on death row to life in prison. The New Dawn government has taken a decision, a big decision, to end the death penalty in our country. We will work with Parliament to run through this process as we transition away from the death penalty and focus on the preservation, rehabilitation of life while still delivering justice for all. This is important. We believe in it. Countrymen and women, we appeal to the present generation to preserve and deepen our freedoms. We will not take the freedoms we already enjoy for granted, but we will hold them in trust for future generations. Africa Freedom Day is a symbol of our collective commitment to secure a better future for all. Countrymen and women, we wish you and your families a peaceful Africa Freedom Day. Let us commemorate the day responsibly and ensure that we abide by COVID-19 guidelines. Long live our freedom. Long live Zambia. Long live Africa. Long live our world. May the Almighty God bless us all. I thank you for your kind attention.